Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is all about nutritional fitness. So life is short, I want to live it well and I hope you want to live it well too. Today I'm going to just give you a little tip about nutrition and we're going to talk a little bit about protein. So have you heard this saying before, use it or lose it? Well, your body and my body, our bodies were designed to use. They were designed to run, work, play, jump, be flexible. They were designed to be used so that we could enjoy life. So if we're not using our muscles, if we're not using our body, if we're not active, if we're not moving, we are going to lose what we already have. It's important as we grow older to maintain that flexibility, to maintain a healthy lifestyle so that we can keep doing the things we love to do. I want to live a happy, healthy life. I want to be able to travel. I want to get on the floor and play with my grandkids. I have four beautiful granddaughters and I love to just get on the floor and play with them. But in order to do that, I have to live a healthy lifestyle so I can maintain and use my body the way it was designed to use. Now, one of the important things in overall wellness in nutrition is protein. Are you getting enough protein in your body? When I Googled how much protein I should have in my body, the average woman is supposed to have around 46 grams of protein per day. Now, that's not a lot, but if that's enough, it's what your body needs because it's not good to have not enough protein, but it's also not good to have too much protein. Too much protein, the extra calories will just be stored as fat, even though your body can use them up maybe later, but you're also gonna excrete all the hormones that come from the, the protein that you're getting if you're not using it. So we don't wanna overeat and we don't wanna under eat what our body really needs. So are you getting enough protein? And what is protein even for? Well, protein is important for many parts of our body and one of them is muscle. If you aren't feeding your muscles, you're gonna lose your muscle. And if you're not using your muscles, you're gonna lose your muscle. I'm sure you've heard of that uh, phrase before where that's the same one I said earlier, use it or lose it. But it also goes for your whole overall health in your body. But protein is a, an important cell repair part to the body. I'm just gonna read what I've got in front of me here. It says, uh, protein is an important building block for bones, muscles, cartilage, skin, and blood. So that's a lot of your body. Your, your body needs protein daily. Now you can get protein from meat, cheese, beans, there's many different types of food that you can get muscle or uh, get protein from. And if you're a vegetarian, I encourage you to look at some plant-based proteins to make sure that you're getting enough because it's important that you do get enough for your bones and your muscle. So I'm gonna just share one thing that I use and I use a, a plant-based protein shake and what it is, is it's Moringa. I've talked about Moringa before, but Moringa has so many health benefits besides just the protein. And so I like to use some of the better things that I can put into my body because it does more than one thing at one time. So I'm gonna show you, this is a plant protein. It's gluten-free, it's soy-free, and it's vegan. So it contains a complete protein extracted from Moringa oleifera, and each serving is 20 grams of 100% plant protein. So here it is. So I don't know if you already are taking a protein supplement, but when you don't have enough in your diet, be sure to somehow get it into your body because your body needs it. It needs it for cell repair as well. Like protein acts as, uh, it makes enzymes and enzymes help. I'm just gonna say it, I'm reading right here. It says your body uses protein to build and to repair tissue. So it's very, very important. When we get free radicals into our body, our cells get damaged and protein can help repair the damage to these cellular 
cells that we have in our body. So again, all you need is around 46 grams of protein per day, but it's very important to get it into your body. I am gonna post the link in case you're interested in a gluten-free, soy-free, vegan plant protein. I'm gonna post the link and you can look it up to see what I use. But I hope you're using some good proteins in your body because you need the muscles working for you so that you can live a happy, healthy life. Life is short, so live it well. Talk to you again real soon.